Okay. So this Darwin went for a voyage for almost five years. How? Okay. He covered places like South. He started from South America, then went to Australia, then Asia, Africa. Okay. And also one important place called as Galapagos uh, Islands, where he saw that birds. He also saw no first finches, mm -hmm. small birds. So there he saw there was there were many differences among the same species. Although they were same species, if you go from mainland, then if you move to island, the species changed. From mainland to one island, the species changed. From that island to other island, the species changed. So that's why he was interested in studying. So five years on this boat. Boat name is ship, sail ship. This ship name is HMS Beagle. Beagle. Let's see what he was interested in. So his theory is based on two key concepts. Two key concepts, that is branching descent. It explains that all organisms are modified descents of previous life form. Branching descent. Just read the heading. First is branching descent. So this also we have done in uh, before that. From one organism, there are other organisms from. Different evolution from one organism, which is somewhat like adaptive radiation. There is one main organism, and from this main organism, the other all organisms have evolved. Okay, that is branching descent. Second, very important point is natural selection. <clears throat> okay, natural selection. The nature will select the strongest one. So we have to write the definition. No, no, just write branching descent and natural selection. Natural selection. For example, here what they have shown is consider a bacterial colony A growing on a media giving given medium, growing on a given medium. If the medium composition is changed, only a part of the population can survive under new condition, and this population will be called as B. So if you grow a bacteria on colony A and if you change the medium, only few will grow. Okay. And this resistant will keep on growing to form a medium B. Okay. Colony B outgrows the others and B is better for than A. Like to give you a simple example, let us say in this medium, what we use is a simple medium. So we got some colonies called colony A. Now this bacteria we have transferred in another medium where we have in where we have also added say penicillins or some antibiotic. Do you think all the bacteria will grow? Only some which are strong enough to fight against that antibiotic will grow. This bacteria we usually call it as antibiotic resistant bacteria. So this Afterwards, what will happen? We'll keep on giving the same medium. So only this bacteria will grow. That is antibiotic resistance. The non-resistant will completely die. There will be some bacteria like one or two which will still grow. But if you keep on continuing the growth, the antibiotic, the strongest one will grow. That is called natural selection. Nature always selects the strongest or the fittest. Okay, okay let's go to the next slide. So here, natural selection is based on following facts. He studied these five facts. First one is variation. Second is overproduction. Third one is limited natural resources. Fourth is struggle for existence. And last is survival of the fetus. So first one is variation. Variation means whatever changes like which occurred for good was survived. The changes which occurred for bad died. Overproduction, you will know. More production. Okay, so you will write this point. Wait. Okay, the first one, heritable minor variations. It is either beneficial or it can be harmful to the organism. Okay, don't write down. Uh, beneficial or harmful means some variations were beneficial. So who will survive? The one with beneficial or one with harmful? Beneficial. beneficial. So they survive, the harmful ones, they extinct. Overproduction, uh, population size grows exponentially due to maximum reproduction. 
Example, a bacterial population. How many minutes does the bacteria take to grow? 20 minutes. We have seen, we have done that, uh, this, uh, which is called Hershey and Chase, no? After every 20 minutes, 40 mm -hmm. minutes, 60 minutes. So, a bacteria can reproduce in 20 minutes. It can double itself. So, limited natural resources. Resources are limited, increase in accordance with the population size. What do you mean by exponentially? The population grows exponentially. In math, how you can explain this? Um, square. 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 3, 2 raised to 5. Like that. From 2, you will get 4. From 4, you will get 8. From 8, you will get 16. That is exponential growth. Okay. Not from 2, you'll get 4, 6, 8, 10. It is 2 raised to 4, 8, 16. Okay. That is how it increases. That is why it is called as geom geometric progression. You all, had, you all did it, no? Uh, arithmetic progression was there in class 10. Okay. Arithmetic progression was there. AP and GP. Arithmetic is like 2, 6, 8, 10, 12. 14, 16. GP is 2, 4, 8, 16, 20. AP was cancelled. GP was cancelled. Arithmetic progression. 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 2, 8. 8 plus 2, 16. 16 plus 3, 6. In between, there will be difference. Pattern it is. 3, 5, 8. So, resources are not increased in accordance with the population size. Population size you increase, whatever you want, you can increase the population, but resource will be constant, it will be limited. Okay, you cannot increase the resource. Naturally, we are saying, huh? artificially, humans are now increasing, but naturally, resources will not increase. Or the land which is there will not expand in a forest. Okay. Then, struggle for existence, it is the competition among organisms for resources, so the population size is limited now this is struggle for existence means since resources is less there will be competition now resources is less population or species are many a tiger will fight with a wolf a tiger can fight with other tiger that is called competition competitions of two types interspecific and intraspecific interspecific is between two different animals intraspecific will be between the same, same animal then survival of the fetus in struggle for existence, organisms with beneficial variations can utilize resources better and they survive and reproduce. This is called survival of the fetus. It leads to a change in population characteristics and forms. So here you can see the picture survival of the fetus. Okay. Survival of the fetus. This one is the fetus and this is not the fit one. So this one will get extinct. This is competition. Okay. These two pictures are telling about competition. And uh, this is natural selection. They only try to eat green one. More the population, more easily it will get action. Now let us see everything in detail. So this is our production, modification, survival of fetus, struggle for existence and variation. Now let us go in detail. So variation and adaptation. Understanding how individual of same species vary was key to Darwin's developing his theory. He wanted to understand why and how the variation used to occur. Because the environment changes, if the environment changes, there will be more variation. More variation within the species, the more likely it will survive. If environment changes, there will be, if any species which is having more variation, that species will survive. So you have to change as per the environment. If you don't change, then you will not survive. Then each individual has a unique combination of inherited traits. Now write this point, an inherited trait that increases an organism change for survival is called as adaptation. We'll try to... Next is overproduction. Naturally occurring species have tendency to produce far more offspring than can possibly survive. Okay. Obviously, it is any species will have tendency to produce many organisms far more than 
they can survive. They produce more and very few will survive. For example, a bacteria, no, it reproduces around after 20 minutes. This is strict method. 20 minutes it will take to uh, uh, double itself. Strict means you have to draw a line. Strict. Yeah. Yeah, you have to take, you have to uh, bacteria, bacteria from water if it is there. You will dilute the water, put your nichrome loop you use in chemistry lab, no? Nichrome wire. Nichrome wire. Nichrome wire. Wire, no, you know, no. Yeah. Which you dip in chemical and yeah. try the flame test. That you have to put in a water and just draw whatever you want. Oh. And then in that shape, you can get bacteria. Now, this yeah. is so here you will get more bacteria, and as you go away, the bacterial colony will be less. Yes. At initial point, when you touch, there you will get more bacteria. So if you draw a line from here to here, the bacteria here will be more and it will keep on decreasing. That is strict. Now, second, the paramecium, no, after every 48 hours, it becomes three times. So imagine if all the paramecium survives, oh. what will happen? The entire earth will be made up of paramecium. This is cod fish. Okay. It lays eggs, many eggs. Out of that, if everything survives, what will happen? Entire lake will be made up of cod fish. But what happens to these eggs then? They die or some are eaten. eaten. Then this is oyster spawn. I was thinking about oyster spawn. Oyster spawn. Yes. Yeah. Oyster spawn. You know what is oyster? What is oyster? Oyster, like oyster is different. Chinani is different. Chinani is different. Chinani is different. Oyster, oyster is different. Yeah. The rocks, yeah, huh? yeah. yeah. Oyster will be like this shape. Chinani is like this. Pulse. Pulse, yeah, pulse. That spawn has around 60 to 80 millions of eggs. In one spawn. So if all survive, everything will be filled with oyster. Now this elephant is the slowest reproducing organism. It can make uh, produce around six to seven babies only in its entire lifespan. It starts from 30 years. 30 years it starts and then it goes on to 70 years. Six months it takes up. Approximately six months. For the feeders to gestation period. Okay. So even if this everyone survives, then by 750 years, entire earth will be covered with elephant. But yeah, two, but still they do not survive. Next, Darwin's observation. This is about food and resources are limited, so organisms have compete to them. Second point, the limitations of the resources. So food and Resource is always limited, so organisms have to compete. Species produce too many offspring and not all will survive. Okay. You can see lion and tiger food for the space and mates. They fight for food, space and mate also. Okay, animals. Yeah. And here only about one in eight male lions survive in adulthood. One in eight. Next species competition, it is of two types, interspecific and intraspecific. Interspecific means this is lion and a jackal or hyena. Okay. This is intraspecific. Okay. Intraspecific means same. Then next is natural selection. Let's see this. Each species has some shows variation. Okay. So shut up shorty. This one is saying. Okay, this one is saying, land. Get off of my land, you lanky git. Okay. <laughs> Second one, the competition within each species for food, leaving space, water, and mates. How why they compete for food, yes. for water, leaving space, and mates. Okay, yes. let's see. The better adapted members of these species are more likely to survive and survival of the fetus. This is called survival of the fetus. So, this one is better adapted. This one is less adapted, so this one will survive. Now, these survivors will pass on their better genes. This survivor will pass on their better genes to their offspring, who will also show this beneficial variation. Now, from this, all the giraffe will be with long neck. Okay? Because this one is passing the genes. Next is common example of survival of fetus. Now, you have to tell, in a herd of herbivore, only we can unable to flee fast or less alert. Will they survive? 
question. See, example of survival of the fetus. You have to tell me which will they survive or not. In a herd of herbivores, it is of herbivores. Herd means cow, goat, anything. Only a weak or unable to run fast or less alert. Will they survive? No. no, they will be easily attacked by the prey. Okay. Next, in desert, in desert, plants which are able to reduce transpiration or which have long roots, will they survive? Yes. yes. Okay. They have to reduce transpiration and they have long roots. Okay. This will survive. This is called survival of the fetus. Then third one, what about animals in Tundra region? What they should have? Oh. Pearl. Pearl. Long fur and all. Pearl. 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 Amaya. Pearl. Pearl. Then in a, next point sir, inheritance of useful character. All the useful characters were inherited. That is in giraffe you can see. Origin of new species. Variations kept on accumulating. Initially in first generation there was one variation. In 10 generation, there will be 10 variation. In 100 generation, there will be 100 variation. What do you think the animal will look same like before? No. It will be completely a new species. Okay, That is called new species. That is called speciation. Okay, What will happen after many generations if there are variations? Origin of new species by gradual modification of older species. Origin of new species by gradual modif modification of older species is called as speciation. So write that point, speciation. Then evidence to support Darwin. Artif artificial selection. Okay. Mimicry and protective coloration. Correlation between position of nectaries in flower and length of proboscis in uh, pollination insect. Proboscis means that... Uh, a, uh, antenna like which comes out from the insect to, say, to uh, take in nectar. Okay, it is a part of the insect. And extinct form. So these are the theories which support Darwinism. Now let us see what is artificial selection. See, artificial selection is process of selecting and conducting under human. Which organism we will select? The fittest one. The, fittest one, the one which is of good characteristic. So that we will select. Okay. That. Similarly, if humans can select the same one, okay. even <laughs> nature will do the same. Nature also will select the fetus. So we don't only we not only select, we try to interpret. We try to interpret so we get a good character. A simple example is broiler chicken. Okay. Naturally, it was not available. It is made by interpreting different these animals. The dog, different types of dog. You can see here. Different types of dog. They have evolved or they have been made by humans. You see, this this dogs, uh, like Chihuahua, that smaller dog. Chihuahua. Okay. Great Dance, Poli, uh, Great Dane, okay. Then Saint Bernard. These are all human made. They are not made by nature. Then even this you can see Brussels, cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli. Okay, it is not natural. These are all man-made. They have crossbreed. Okay, this cauliflower is not naturally occurring. They have crossbreed different plants to get what you even banana, which we eat now, is because of crossbreed. So if if humans can do this. Within few generations, that means nature can do for many generations. For so many generations. Half of our body will be AI. Yeah. Okay. So what is this? No, don't write that. Chameleon. This is uh, yes. that. Yes, it's an insect. It's yeah. a leaf insect. Right? Leaf insect. Yes, yes, yes. I don't insect this one. No, sir. This is the yes. insect. This is insect. Ah, this one with yes. legs, hands, legs. Okay. Made up of leaf. This is called mimicry. So this mimicry, what will be the use of this mimicry? Uh, so it, it will easily escape Can from the blend, in, blend in between. So that is called survival. Okay. So this one also supports Darwin. Darwin said that survival of the fetus. 
Okay, the one who can easily escape can be severed. Then this is the probiosis. Okay, this is probiosis. This is the nectaris. So write this point. This is a flower, and inside there is an insect which is giving it. Yeah. No, no. This is a flower, simple flower. This is of uh, chana, grams, peas. Uh -huh. Chana flower, and inside there is insect who is trying to. This is the probiosis. That is that insects. Uh, you can say antenna. So as the size of nectar is increases, the insect antenna also increases. That is called co-evolution. The two organisms evolve together. One is the flower and one is the insect. So write this relation between two different organisms can evolve gradually and can be explained by natural selection. This is called co-evolution. Okay. Next is criticism for Darwinism. Darwin described small fluctuations small fluctuating variations, but evolution is a result of large sudden variation called mutation. Darwin didn't explain anything about mutation. He never knew anything about mutation. So five yeah. yeah. But, and this mutation is studied afterwards. Okay. Recent it is. Then, he could not explain anything about use and disuse on vestigial organ. Vestigial organ he didn't explain. Unwanted organs. unwanted organs. He has to separate. He didn't separate somatic and gametic changes. Okay. So what is criticism? Associated? Criticism. Criticism and uh, objection for Darwinism. He didn't explain about germinal and somatic. What is somatic and germinal variation? So somatic is body. Body and germinal is reproductive variations. Okay. And failed to describe the cause of no dilution of inherited characteristics. Failed to describe cause of not dilution of inherited characteristics when one possessing them in breed with one lacking them. Okay. So this is about criticism. Any two points, if asked. Okay. Then next we have neo Darwinism that we'll do next time. That is about mutation theory. Mutation. Mutation. 